Hi, my name is Valerie. Thanks for joining me today. I have a big announcement, bittersweet. Uh, not exactly something I thought I'd be saying or doing, but life is not that way, is it? We make our plans and we, we have things we want to do, goals, dreams, and then life happens and shatters them into a million pieces. But for the believer, it's, it's not a surprise or, or a mistake. It's been God's plan all along. We just didn't know. We didn't know it. It's with mixed emotions that I announced that our family will no longer be a homeschooling family. As of this summer, we are finishing up. At the time of this filming, I have three weeks left of home education with my children. Three weeks of education forever for my son, Mitchell. Uh, so it's, it's, it's rapidly coming, and I've been... I don't know if you can kind of see in the background here, I'm going through materials, things that I'm definitely never going to use again, I'm getting rid of. I don't know if this is a forever decision. We are enrolling our children in the local public school and they may hate it. And we may decide to go back to, to homeschooling so we can adjust. I mean, that's the beauty of life is you, within reason, you can make, you can make changes. And we are, because of many reasons, making a lot of changes uh, to our lives. I am tearing down, I say tearing down, we are changing the room. We had a dedicated school room and we will be totally changing that. That will not be a school room anymore. It will be sort of a multi-purpose room, I guess, sort of a library. I don't know, it's supposed to be a dining room, but uh, it's not really going to be able to be a dining room either, so I don't know. But my life is really changing. I've got, in this room, this is also sort of an extra, it's an extra guest room and I use it to store homeschooling. The closet here is the, it's all homeschooling materials. And so I've been going through that and I've got piles stacked all around me and it's pretty crazy. But, uh, and it's emotional. It's very emotional. 16 years I homeschooled. And when we first made this decision, I cried and cried and cried because it felt like a failure. It felt like, oh, 16 years, Valerie, you shouldn't have been doing this. You should have been, you know, letting your kids go to public school and then what would you be doing? But I don't know, but it wouldn't be this. And you wouldn't have wasted 16 years, but I didn't waste 16 years. I invested those into my children's lives and uh, I believe it was a healthy investment. It's just one of those, it's just part of the process. You have to kind of go through all the steps of grief <laughs> to kind of, cleanse your mind and get the right perspective and I can see now no those that wasn't a mistake nobody was hurt because we homeschooled one of the main reasons we are we have decided to do this is because we have a very small church and we live near a military installation so in July of 2018 we had a family with a, a, a young girl move away because they were here for military. They retired here, but then they decided to actually retire somewhere else. And so they moved away and they took, obviously they took their daughter with them. I mean, the nerve. No, but um, that was really sad. And then another family that had just been in our church a few months, about 10 months they had been with us in our church. They uh, were in military. We're supposed to be here three years, but as the military often does, they moved them away to Virginia, and they had a ch uh, two children. One was a newborn baby, and uh, we really fellowshiped in their home a lot, and they and ours, and we, we kind of supported one another for a while there, as long as we could, and then they were gone, and that was devastating. And um, now another family who has three children are moving, and they too our military. They came here for a job. He was retired military, but they came here for a job and he found a better job somewhere far away. So my kids have dealt with a lot of loss <laughs> and we have a small homeschool group. And once again, the homeschool group, it was big and then it shrinks and then it gets bigger. And that's because of the military influence, the military presence coming and going, coming and going. And a lot is written about the difficulty of military families in making these transitions, and, and I, I certainly understand that to a small degree. As a pastor's wife, I've moved around a lot, but not with the regularity of the military and all of that. So I kind of understand it, but I've never taken into account those of us who are civilians who live near that influence of the military and we're touched by the people. And we fall in love with these people and we grow close to them and then they're gone. 
Sorry. I can't believe I'm crying. Yes, I can believe I'm crying. Anyway, and so it's been very, very painful to watch my kids and to have my own heart torn out by all these people saying goodbye. I really hate goodbyes. And of course, they're military. They don't have family here. So the chances of them ever coming back, ever, com ever coming back here is very slim. So... My kids need friends. You hear the joke, oh, socialization. Your kids need friends, okay? They need people. They need people. And I I don't know what God is doing. We just don't have any people their age in our church. And it's, it's hard on them. They need to learn, you know, kids need to learn to share. They need to learn to get along. They need to learn to cope with uh, not seeing eye to eye with somebody and how to handle that situation. And if mom and dad are always hovering over them, which is a, is a, a big problem with homeschool families, and I say this because it's been a problem in my own, and they never let the kid work it out, then they grow, they, they grow, these kids grow up kind of stunted in that way. And they have, they have to mature pretty quickly regarding those relationships when they get out of when they graduate and get out of the house. And sometimes I've also, I've learned the hard way too that my number one goal for, for homeschooling was to pour the word of God into my children's lives. But you don't, that homeschooling is not the only way to do that. So you can do that and send your kids to public school. It's harder because they're not with you as much, but it is possible. And uh, I've, so anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing. And of course, when I graduated high school, my parents really discouraged me from going to college because of the secular influence, the humanism, materialism, the all the other isms out there. They didn't want me to come away from college, you know, an atheist. So, and looking back, you know, for a, for many years, I admit I was bitter at my parents for not saying, "Go to college, you can do it, get a degree." But now I see the wisdom because I was immature. You know, when you are 17, you think you've got all the answers. But now looking back, I realize I was immature and I did need time to grow and mature. And even though I wasn't, uh, I did homeschool for a few years of my own high school career, I spent most of my time in a private school and it had some of the same problems of this isolationism where I didn't know how to cope with people with differing opinions and ideas. I didn't, I didn't learn how to handle that. So... You know, it's probably a good thing I didn't go at that time. Obviously, it was because that's God's will for my life. That was God's will for my life. Also, I didn't know what I wanted to do. When I was 18 years old, I had about seven different careers I was interested in. Writing, history, teaching, uh, law, being becoming a lawyer, uh, <laughs> all kinds of things that I was a broadcaster. <laughs> I wanted to be on the radio, of all things. And um, so I didn't really have a, a narrow narrowed down idea. So it's taken a long time, but I finally decided to go to college. And so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to a local university here. It's been accepted, which shocked me because I'm so old. I'm going to take elementary education because obviously I love teaching. I, I love teaching my kids, although there's a different dynamic teaching your kids and teaching someone else's kids. But, um, you know, I, I love that whole experience. And so I feel bad about this channel because I started this channel in June of 2019 as a hobby, something, a creative outlet. I'd been a blogger for 10 years and then uh, my family and I endured a really difficult trial and I just had no more words. And I know you watch my videos and you think you've never run out of words, <laughs> but there was about a two year time period there where I did have no word. I ran out of words. I, I didn't have anything I felt worth saying. I, you know, basically when Job was silent seven days after he, you know, after all the trials that, that he went through, when you go through a really dark trial, you don't have the words. You don't have, you don't really know what to say and you don't really want to hear what other people have to say. So uh, I spent about two years sort of just healing and growing and trying to cope. You know, just getting out of bed every day was a monumental task. So about at the end of the two years, when I tried to go back to blogging, it just 
brought back all the memories, you know, so it was too difficult. So uh, YouTube has become the thing for homeschooling moms. They show materials. I'd seen some other moms do it. And I thought, hey, why not? That'll be something fun. So here I am. And now it's all over. <laughs> the end. <laughs> so I'm really sorry. I'm going to leave all my videos up. I, I still have the 16 years of experience. I still uh, love homeschoolers. And I love the idea of homeschooling. I know the pitfalls and the, the pluses of it. And uh, I'm certainly not anti-homeschooling, just like I was never anti-public school. My mother was a public school teacher and principal my entire upbringing. So I've never been against public school, even though I've homeschooled all this time. I did it for spiritual Christian, re you know, to put the Bible into my children, not because I think I can give my children a better academic education than the public school can. It's, it's never been about that. It's just been about putting the Bible into their hearts and protecting them from some, you know, the influences that... I thought, you know, we're out there. And one, one thing that I did learn in the last three years is that um, homeschooling your children, and I hope I'm not bursting anyone's bubble, but homeschooling your children does not guarantee that they will grow up to be a Christian. It does not promise that to you. Now, raising your children with the Bible, whether that's homeschool or public school, they're going to have to step over what you've taught them to pursue an anti-God lifestyle. They know they've been trained. They've been taught. The word of God is in their hearts, whether they like it or not, it's there. And so they're having to, 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 to mash that down every time they take steps against God. They have to step over that. But it doesn't, it doesn't guarantee that your kids are going to be Christians. And also going to public school does not mean your kid is going to grow up to be a God hater either. God has to work on a person's heart individually. God does not save people by the masses. He doesn't save a family. He doesn't save a group. He saves individuals. He saved me. I was blessed to have Christian parents who uh, taught me the word of God from a very young age. And God, in his mercy, opened my understanding to that at a very young age and saved me. And but because I was saved so young, it kept me from making a lot of mistakes. But some people are saved after a life of hard living in the opposite way. So those are some of the thought processes. I didn't make notes on this. And obviously, it's, I'm sure it sounds jumbled. And I'm, I apologize for that. It's been a really emotional week, and I've kind of been dreading making this video, to be honest with you. Not because I don't want to put my kids in public school, or I don't want to go to college, and I don't want to take these next steps. I'm, I'm really excited about the opportunities that public school is going to give my children. Um, I'm excited about who their teachers are you know, going to be, and we're looking forward to learning from, from others. And I'm looking forward to them learning from others. It'll be so nice to have someone else tell them that the essay is due next week. <laughs> It'll be so nice that someone else will punish them if that essay is not delivered on time and things like that. It'll be so nice for them to, to know people and to have interactions with people and to come home and have questions and sit around the supper table and discuss things that they're all experiencing. I'm really excited for them. I'm really, really excited. I love teaching my kids and I love learning. I cannot wait to start my classes. I am, Lord willing, I'll be starting in June uh, to take summer school, two classes. And then in the fall, I've enrolled in four classes. Lord willing, again, so many things could change, but that's my plan right now. I'm, I'm so excited. I'll be taking uh, English Comp 1 and American History to 1865 this summer. And then in the fall, I'll be taking French 1. Can't wait. Uh, I'll be taking Survey of Math. I can wait on that one. I'll be taking English Comp 2, and I will be taking a psychology class, general psychology. So I am so excited. Every single one of those classes intrigues me, The I, you know, what I'll be learning. I am nervous uh, that I can do it all, um, but I'm also excited. My goal is to graduate, hopefully in four years. If I can do it in, in a shorter amount of time, that would be great too. But in four years to graduate and then hopefully to find a job teaching somewhere, I would like to do that. And um, my husband, we got married when we were 19 and he has supported our family on his own while I've been a stay-at-home mom and a homeschooling mom for 22 years. 
I did work a short time at, right after we were married, but basically the whole time he's been supporting us himself. And this is just so thrilling to me to be able to get a degree and do something to help him and help our family. And it'll be something that I love to do. I love kids. I love, I want to help people. I want to inspire children to learn. I, I don't really get any comments on my channel. So if anybody's watching and if you have any uh, questions or, or comments about this, would you be interested in following my journey through college? I can post things I'm learning. Um, I'm sure it'll be a hilarious experience because I'm 42. I've never set foot on a university campus in my life. This is all so brand new and I'm so excited, but I don't know if that excitement's gonna last. <laughs> I hope it does. But um, if you're interested, and also I would like to keep posting videos on teaching ideas because obviously I'm still going to be a teacher, just a different type. And I will always have a soft spot in my heart for homeschooling families. So, uh, you know, if you have some encouragement, I'd love it. If you have some criticism, I mean, who wants criticism? But, you know, feel free. It's a free country. You can leave me a critical comment if you want. But anyway, if you have a comment regarding your interest in my continuing to make videos, let me know that. I'm really interested in that. If you're even watching, I would be interested to know that. Uh, thank you for watching today. And I would say, you know, like, subscribe, share. But I don't even know if this channel is going to continue. If you think it should, like, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching and for, um, you know, for those of you who subscribed from day one when it was a homeschooling only channel, thank you for that. Um, I really appreciated your support. If you need to unsubscribe because of that, I understand. If you'd like to follow along, I would love that too. So anyway, there's our big announcement. Sorry for all the rambling. Have a great day.